take you to get over your heartbreak at least a year did your outlooks and relationships change definitely how um i just it was really hard for me to start trusting females again all right so what's your name uh my name is william william lasser okay how old are you william right now i'm 24 i'll be 25 in march Nice, man. It's nice. Yeah, bro. You in school? You finished school? Graduate of Campbell University. I work at Duke University right now, so I'm doing pretty good, bro. That's nice, man. That's nice. That's actually really nice. So, why are we here? Like, um, we here to talk about me. Like, this thing right here is about to get stupid crazy. Like, the next like 10, 15 minutes, you gonna be like, what? Really? Yeah, bro. What about you? It's like the three past girlfriends I've had and their impact on me and the music I choose to listen to. So, told me about the three girls, the three faces. Facts. Who what are they? they? Um, I'm not gonna use no names, but I, I'm gonna say one's name is Anger, one's name is Growth, and the last one's name is Self Love. So Lou, you dropped part one, Anger. Yeah. Drop part two, grow. Yeah. So how was the feedback and reviews for that? Um, it was good. I, you know, there's always gonna be negative feedback. Cause like, dang, you out here bashing women, generalizing women. I said, I'm not. I'm telling a story that people already know from my perspective. So there's a difference between my side, their side, and the truth. So this is just my perspective. It's my truth. Right. So we already recorded, you know, part three, self-love. Right. And like two weeks ago, and now we're here again for part three again? Yeah, man. Uh, I didn't like the, fir the first one. I feel like I sold, I sold myself short. It's what? Um, perfection. No such thing as it. Closest thing to perfection we can get to is excellence. So that's what I want with excellence. That was, that was less than excellence. So tell us about, you know, part three. Tell us about self-love. Self-love, bro, that's that's the most important. There's no way I can give somebody, I can be the best version of myself if I'm not in love with myself. When I'm in love, I don't love myself. I want the same for whoever I choose to take as my partner, my, my wife, my girlfriend, whatever. So is there an individual that made you realize um, self-love? Yeah, there there was. Um, I couldn't I couldn't give her my all. I like, hurt my heart to to do this. Um, so we met at Campbell. I was a senior. She's a few. Years, she's maybe a year or two behind. Yeah, year or two behind. Um, and then met at a football game, homecoming, twenty seventeen. It was lit. I got on her Snapchat, boom. Asked about her, asked around about her, boom. But, you know, we connected. So then we started talking probably in January, closer to February. So then we started talking, being a thing around Canada, we get going out in public, we exclusive. But we don't officially start dating till summertime. So I said, I mean, when I talk to females, I always ask about their story, their backgrounds, whatever, and I give them vice versa. Anything they want to know about me, I'll tell them straight up. So then she told me her stuff. I told her my stuff. I said, all right, man. I said, I'm not perfect. You're not perfect either. So but we can grow. The point of, of living is to grow. Ain't no point of going through life at a stagnant rate. You gotta go up. 2017, homecoming. I was in her Snapchat. Boom, that's how it started. Planted that seed. I told her this when we first met. I said, I planted a seed like months ago. I said, I knew we was gonna get together. I said, because we always know. We men, we as men always know. We don't officially start dating until 
June 29th, 2018. It was real great. It was real, real good. And then um, one of her mentors had left Campbell unexpectedly. Fired, quit. It's, it's up for discussion. But anyway, so then she stuck. That's a, that's a shocker. That's like one of them jabs to your heart you don't expect. Mm -hmm. But she lit up to this dude. Although, in my opinion, I, I tried to tell her from John, I said, I said, you don't need someone to tell you how great you are. You are as great as you want to be. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's that's part of that self-love that I'm trying to instill in someone else. So then she, I said, I guess she realized it, but then it was like at that point where like, dang, I, I don't, it's too late. Mm -hmm. So then he was telling her to go to all these places because she was going to follow him to the school she was at. So, which is cool because it's not my not my relationship, not my like with that dude, it's not my relationship. So then um at this one school, she had said, I said, I'm not gonna go there regardless. I said, okay, that's fine, that's whatever. So then uh it ends up he said he told her to go to that school. So I said, So what you gonna do? I said, You gotta make a decision for you and not for anyone else. So I told her at the end, I said it's one day I was like, people gonna do what's best for them at the end of the day. Like, even if they tell you to do something, it's going to be in the best of them. So, so that's how you got to move. That's how you got to think. So then um, she went to that school. But when she gets there, he's nowhere to be found. So now she's stuck. So like she's stuck. She don't know nobody there. She basically just took a risk. Now she out on the limb, just chilling. So I said, dang, I said, so now we're here. Now it's a long distance relationship. So like, were you ready for the challenges of a long distance relationship? I mean, I did long distance before, but like that's when things started. Like, I believe I'm, I'm so I was so I don't want to say damaged, but I was like cracked. I, I refuse to say I'm damaged. Um, I was I was cracked from the past. I think like, man, I said long distance is what causes all this and this and this. Then my trust issue started kicking in. I said, dang, I said, she don't do this, this, and this. I said, this, that's just stuff I had to deal with by myself. I said, I, I said, man, but she she won't do nothing. Like, I believe a lot of the things that would happen in a relationship, it was because of me. Like, that this was like tough. <laughs> this is crazy. It's I, crazy. I, you know, um, yeah. Um, how do we manage ourselves? Well, like, I guess the argument started. Like I had a feeling, like when she left, I said, "This is the guy." I, mean, I helped her move in. Well, I, supposedly, she moved in the day after when she was supposed to. Right. Like, There's a, it a whole bunch of chaos. So I helped her move in, and then um, just a whole bunch of random stuff that just kept happening, like bad arguments. Like we had never argued. We might have had disagreements, but as far as like arguing, it was cool, like straight cool, like. She probably one of the best people I had ever met in my life, to be honest. If if I'm being honest, so so the argument started. Um, it just done. It looked a little stuff. A little stuff. <laughs> like I, I probably, I probably definitely over exaggerated a good amount of the time. I say it's not that big of a deal. Looking back at it, I probably would not have ever um, over exaggerated about anything. Unless it was like, I got you. So, out of that situation and you learning along the process, because I knew that, you know, you talked about in part two in growth, how it was distance, little distance and different stuff like that. And pretty much like you starting to, did you, were there any like triggers or anything like that? What do you mean? Like, mm -hmm. like, like mm -hmm. out of that situation, like, you learned, like, how did you learn about self love? So, uh, like, like I said, like when, when I can't give you the best version of me, that's when I need to evaluate myself. Cause I don't want to be with someone who can't get my all. Mm -hmm. And I'm vice versa. I don't want someone who can't give me their all. So at the end of the day, like when I did it, um, I had, had to reevaluate. I said, I can't give you my best. So I can't do this. I said, I won't, I can't. Like we were arguing a lot. I said, that's not the best version of myself. Like I understand that argument is normal. But that's not normal. Like to me, that's not normal. So like, you know, as a man, you know, hearing you, one thing I like is that you take ownership for your actions. I'm starting to. I didn't I used to I used to try to put the blame on her all the time, but now like 
since these first two have been out, I said, yo, I said, this is my fault. This this was my fault. So I mean, cause a part of being a part of loving yourself is acknowledging your faults, your flaws, your wrongdoings. So that way you can grow from it. You know what I'm saying? Talk to that individual recently. We still talk. We talk every day. Um, we communicate every day. We friends until you know we just friends right now. Chilling. I'm I'm there for her support. She there for my support. So with all the stuff from you writing about you know self-love and taking ownership and as you reflect and evaluate yourself and the situation and you know the relationship and her would you do it again um if i know for sure that i can give her the best version of myself and vice versa and we can continuously pour into each other i mean like they're like being equally yoked i would i would do it again but until then we just we best off as friends slash support system. So in closing, from anger, growth, and self love, talk about you know what's the point of this documentary? What do you want people to know about you? Um. Well, the, the original like at first it was for my portfolio. Like this is just content for me to use. I was like, why not? The best content is about you, right? But now, like, looking back at it, I was like, this is probably, like, the best way of s s types of closure. Like, um, I thank all three of these women, because they did teach me something, like, because like everyone was not perfect. I'm not going to be ever be perfect. I don't want anyone perfect. That's not realistic. So, um, me as a man, because we as men, like, the population of men, we have troubles with expressing ourselves so like i, I want to hope that i hope this is like a, a fuse like i want people to like hit me up like dang that was really dope help me get out my feelings help me do this this and this i said i just wanted to start something so um, what are you doing better with now than you were struggling with in, in the past um I'm constantly just working on myself. I want to be the best version of myself for anybody. Let, let it be work, basketball, anything. Be 2K, I want to be the best version at that, anything. Like, ain't nobody beat me. So, um, yeah, and then honest, honestly, the, the biggest thing I would say is like, I'm listening to myself. Like, cause I'll tell, I'll tell y'all, my friends, I tell, I'll give, I'll give y'all some great advice, but I won't realize what I said until like two weeks later. I'm like, dang, I said that? Because that like, y'all will remind me. Say, like, remember you said this, this, and this. I said I don't, but okay. So then my mom was telling me. She said, "Listen to yourself, because your inner ear is your biggest way of growing towards a deeper understanding." So that's what I'm constantly doing nowadays, or listening to myself, listening to what I need to tell me. Is there any more documentaries on the way coming? <laughs> That I don't know. I'm gonna have to go through some like four more heartbreaks then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hey, bro, I thank you because you are my brother. Cause you, you, you one in the same, bro. Always.